lads, how's it going? And welcome everybody back to another review on the channel. We've got the Santa hat. It's starting to feel like Christmas. But we have got an 84 rated second in form. So if you guys missed out on his player of the month, which I actually did a, a brief review summary on his player of the month. And I said... I don't think he's entirely worth it because I feel like he will get some more special cards and you'll be able to buy them on the market for a lot cheaper. And was I right? He is two ratings less, but he is like 200,000 coins less. Plus, if you do buy him, he is tradable. So today we have got a second in form Jonathan Bamber review. I really loved his 82 rated card. You guys seem to love the video. 80, uh, 80,000, Jesus, 80... I keep saying 8,000, there we go, 8,000 views, something like that, it was honestly nuts, so today we've got a second inform Bamba review, and if you guys did get him out your red picks, I can say GG, because from experience with his, uh, his first inform, I can say he was a very good card. So what we're going to do, we're going to go over play by all of that good stuff, and then we are going to hop into the gameplay, so starting off 5 foot 9 with high, high work rates, so third foot is right, and he's got 4 star, 4 star. That's what you want to see, boys. That's really what you want to see. First of all, the high, high work crates, especially as a left cam, will come in clutch. And the four star, four star, is, you can't ask for much more, especially as a wide cam. Going to attributes, he's got some really nice pace. His shooting is good. His passing is decent. Long passing is not quite there, but still a decent card. And as for dribbling, absolutely incredible he is not the strongest and i could tell you that from using his normal card or his uh, first in form as well he is not the strongest but he is very fast which does make up for it using him as a left cam we will get into the custom tactics but he really does work as a winger and for traits he does have the flare trait which is a solid not a great trait but a solid trait to have so for the chem style you might want a little pace boost 92 pace it's decent as a winger, you might want a little bit more. His shooting is alright, his passing is average, his dribbling is pretty good in game. So for the chemistry style, I'd probably narrow it down to a Hawk and a Deadeye. We are going to, we actually don't have a Deadeye on us, so that's awkward. So we are, we are actually going to, actually no, you know what? We might go with a Marksman. Let's see what a Marksman does. I've got four of them, so let's see what a Marksman does. And let me know down below what chem style you're using. Obviously, it is all really, you know, a Marksman definitely is the way. It's really all just up to opinion and what you want as a card. We will see what his pace is like in-game. 92 pace, it seems more than enough, but like I said, if you want to give it up a bit more with a Hawk, you can, bringing it to 97. But I was just thinking, once he has got good agility, good balance, he will feel much faster on the ball than 92 pace. But the Marksman, I feel like, could probably be the way to go because he goes to 92 finishing, 91 shot power, 91 long shots, 90 penalties. So I feel like a marksman is really good. His passing is decent, but he goes to 86 reactions, 97 ball control, and 97 dribbling. But not only that, he gets a plus 10 strength boost, so 75 strength and 87 jumping. I actually feel like I'm, I'm actually happy I saw the marksman because I'm really looking forward to trying him out with a marksman. And I'll stop rambling in a minute before we get into this for custom tactics. It's a 4 triple 2 and we will be playing him as a left mid. Um, but we also, actually for attacking, sorry, for attacking we will be doing him, using him as a 4 triple 2 like so. So as a um, centre mid, or sorry, as an attacking formation he'll be playing as a left cam. And for a normal balanced defensive formation he'll be playing as a 4-4-2. So boys, for the custom tactics, for the 4-4-2 in defensive, or instructions I should say, he is stay wide, get in behind, and get into the box. Stay wide and get in behind, he will really work as a winger, and the, uh, or the stay wide he will, and the get in behind, he will be making runs in behind the defense, and get into the box, as simple as that, as simple as it sounds, he will get into the box for cross. As for 4 triple 2 his instructions is my favourite with any wide cam, get into the box and drift wide. Once again, drift wide he will be working as a winger and make runs into wide areas of a pitch and get into the box. So if Dybala, Martinez etc have the ball he will jump into the box ready for that cross. Now sorry for a little bit of a longer intro, we usually don't have, we already have my custom tactics set up usually so it's taken a bit longer but let's get into the video. So the team we're facing, don't be a god squad, we'll start off on balanced attack, or we might start off defensive or balanced and then move into an attack. It's a solid straight Italian league team, um, has he, has he, maybe he's forgotten to switch, I don't know, maybe he's doing objectives, or maybe he's forgotten to switch, I don't know, it's a full Italian team, which you do not see much, or Serie A team I should say, you do not see it often, it's a much stronger team than mine, this is a, my uh, road to glory as well, so it will just make it a lot harder, but let's get into it boys, let's, let's give a ball straight away to... The man himself, Bamba. Okay, so first impressions, he feels much more agile 
then here's this cross the pitch oh that's not cro quite crossing the pitch but it's a very nice uh he's got very nice curve as well so i do like that but his balance i can tell feels a lot better compared to his uh normal inform or his first inform i should say bamba nice first time starting to make that run again as well let's see if he can run into it he can too he's very fast well he does get caught up to we're gonna keep going you know what we're gonna cut inside here my opponent Puts his leg out, and that's what annoys me with this game. Stuff like that, it's not a foul. In real life, it's not a foul because he didn't touch me. But he literally put his leg out, so it's impossible for me to go that way. It's smart, if anything. It is smart. Go on. Miles of space here. Bamba. Run into it. Well, we've still got it. We're going to go for a nice ball roll. Heel to heel. And finish that. Bamba. Come on, son. Eight minutes in. Starting off strong, Jonathan Bamba, that is incredible, starting off very strong there lads, starting off very, very strong, you know, skip, it doesn't show us a replay, I want to skip the celebration and watch a replay, but Jonathan Bamba, that finesse shot, beautiful man, and I mean he does not have a finesse shot trait, but if he did, imagine that, cutting inside and just finishing it with him will be even more effective than it already is, that is a beautiful cut inside there, really, really like that, on, up to Bamba, Give that through. Back to Bamboo. Oh, he's really good. Bamboo, we're going to boost through here. Boost through. Oh, his 75 strength holds up. We're going to dig that over the top. He brings his keeper out. Imagine, but still that 75 strength with the marksman, um, Kim style. Putting him to 75 strength is holding up really nicely. Out wide to Bamboo. It's actually a really good pass on Dybala's pass, I, part, I believe it was. Progress with Bamboo. But agility and balance is very nice with Bamboo, and the bull roll is very effective due to that really loving him he's like the perfect winger but he can cut inside go on give that through to hernandez that is really good he's into the box which is nice let's give that down that could have gone through bamba can't quite win that header as well he's got some decent jumping so he can win the headers in those positions back out to bamba fake shot in boom boom bamba if we could have gone that through it's another wonder goal that four star skill moves is very good to abuse bamba first time it's passing once again, really nice. It's lovely from Bamba. He feels so silky smooth, I guess the words are. Bamba, once again, he's there. His high, high work rates, dude. He's everywhere. Send Martinez. Martinez with a shot. That's 2 0. Lots of credit to Bamba there as well. Lots of credit to Bamba. We take that. It's Dybala, not Martinez. Go on, son. <laughs> Take that, Alan. The reason I am being toxic is because you, if, you, if you look at my opponent's team name, it's kind of triggering or what it's shortened to. Um, obviously, people, EA, have to ban play people with names like that because it is just a very toxic environment and makes makes the game very, very toxic. So I'm very happy to be freeing all up here. And Bamba, man, he, he just, although he's he's gotten a goal, he's on the score sheet with a beautiful goal to start with. But sadly, no, obviously, two assists. But both our other goals, he's been heavily involved with. And his work rates are insane. Go on, Bamba. We were making that run, EA. Come on. Come on, man. But still, Bamba is by far the best player on my pitch. Like I said, although, yeah, straight domination. Although we are not getting heaps of assists with him. Or, uh, we're actually playing a four. We're on ultra defensive. I didn't think we were actually. Um, but so far, he's gotten a goal. And he hasn't gotten an assist, no, but he has gotten a goal. But he is everywhere. His dribbling is insane. His passing is insane. And I believe he's been involved with all three of our goals. Not only a goal, but like semi, semi, semi assist as well. He's just everywhere. And his work rates are so good. There we are. Take that touch out to Bamba. Bamba. Some nice four star skill moves. Time back for Hernandez over the top. Once again, really abusing the skill moves. Gonna give that dink it over. It's a little bit too much power on that on Hernandez's part. We actually, no, we've still actually got the ball from it though. Come on, give that into Martinez. Tallow back into Martinez. That could have been four. Could have been four, but still a really good uh, over the top chip pass to, was it Hernandez to start that attack anyways. Not in a great position here. This is not looking great. Keeper, go on. Go on, take the touch, give that through to Bamba, Bamba. Wow, my opponent keeps diving into challenges, making it very easy. Go on, Bamba. Could actually be through here. Bamba, Bamba. Gonna do oh, it's only so close. I should have shot that. I wasn't expecting him to bring his keeper out. We as you could see, we got a fake shot through. We we're about to uh, do a bull roll around and we would have been open for that finesse shot through with an open goal there. 
if we had like half a second longer, boys, we were in the money. We were in the money, and that would have been Bamba's second and our fourth. Hopefully, we're going to concede from it as well. That's unlucky, boys. That's unlucky. Go on, Bamba. There's one minute at a time. Can we hold off? Back through to Bamba. Bamba for the final nail in the coffin. It falls back to him. Bamba. Go on, son. 4-2. That's like the confirmation in the final minute. He gets a brace. He's involved in all four of our goals. Involved in all four of our goals. And even better, he gets a brace. Come on, lad. Bamba, the first time we hit it with his left. Maybe not the best shot first time, but very lucky with that rebound. But we take it. Bamba was insane. He was insane. The best player on my pitch by far. I don't think he'll get man of a match. He might actually because he did score a brace. Plus, he was just incredible. And 9.1, so he, he does. Wait, so, oh, my opponent's Merton scored a hat, uh, scored two. How? My opponent's Merton scored two, and he lost 4-2. I won 4-2, and Bamba got two, yet he doesn't get man of a match. That does not make sense, but Bamba does get the highest rating in my team. Two goals, zero assists, but obviously three out of four shots on target, 26 out of 29 passes, and 22 out of 27 dribbles. He's just so good. He is so good. I feel like he is probably the best player on my pitch, like I said. What we're going to do, we're going to go over all of these replays, then hop into the pros and cons screen and all of that good stuff. So first of all, the first goal, cutting inside with him. We're at that point. We're, at the, we're in the wing at one point, far wide in the pitch, and it ends up with us cutting in to finish that. Beautiful, man. Look, he's still going. Ball roll, heel to heel, and finish. Beautiful goal, man. And that's what is so effective with him, is cutting inside like that and bagging that home. And then, obviously, in the last minute, I believe, actually, in this goal here, so Bamba did have a little bit of a say to do with this in our, just before that. So he wasn't entirely, yeah, yeah, Bamba, right here. This is a goal. He didn't get an assist for this, but he still offered so much to this goal. Bamba is a left cam, playing as a left mid, and he's literally in the center mid position. That's his work rate, his positioning, just everything. As you can see, Bamba receives it. Brilliant agility, ball control to quickly pass that into Martinez, back to Dybala. So once again, Bamba not getting an assist, but a semi-assist or a pre-assist, you could say. Even in the 90th minute, he is really good with his runs. As I'm saying, he passes a ball and then starts making that run. First time shot, it was actually relative, yeah, it was actually going in. It was a good shot on my part. It is his weak foot. It's kind of awkward, a good save on my opponent's keeper's part. Um, it almost goes through his legs, but we do get lucky with a rebound. And that's actually really good going from this animation here to quickly going into a finesse uh, animation, like right here. That is actually very, very interesting. I, I don't think, I don't see that often. If I go in like this, you're not expecting them to pull out a finesse animation from this angle, but he does. And it's a really nice finish. For me, boys, starting off with his pros, working down to his cons and the chem style. His pros is going to be his pace. It is going to be his shooting. It is going to be his passing. It's going to be his dribbling. It's going to be his high, high work rates. It's going to be his four-star, four-star. As for cons, it's literally nothing. I couldn't find anything wrong with this card. He is better than his normal, his first inform. His first inform was good. This inform is even better. So for the recommended chem style, it's going to have to be a marksman. I was actually going to say a hawk or something, but obviously in the intro, we actually got a marksman, and it worked brilliant because he was on form this game. So a marksman for me, games played is one. Um, we got a lot of clips with him as well, so I'm very, very happy with that. Two goals and zero assists, giving him a 2.0 goal slash assist per 90. Without a doubt, boys, for 90,000 coins, go pick this card up. You will not regret it. And once again, hopefully this video did help you out. Remember, if you are new, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It has been your boy Davis. Till next time.